see in the RTL here. Hope we're all well. Um, welcome to another album ranking video show, whatever you would like to call it. And today we are going obscure. Uh, we are going to look at a band called Highland Glory. Now I discovered these again when I was doing research for Mark Wilkinson album covers and I come across one of the covers I thought that's good like that so I thought well we'll give him a listen like I did with Sky Art Attack and uh, yeah I like them they're just a great little power metal band they came from a band called Phoenix Rising um, which are a Norwe were a Norwegian band and I can't find any of their albums so I thought I was what I was going to do I was going to look at these and then do these but I couldn't find them but the albums were Rise to the Ashes and Eternal Crusade so the band changed their name and singer and they became Highland Glory with this new fresh start they, they thought they'd increase their potential and develop their melodic metal sound in a heavier more traditional direction 12 members of the bat have been in the band in a very short career um, the, or the original singer left after two albums they made another album with another singer they left and he come back and he left the drummer left and saying that they was the lack of motivation within the band so they've sort of fizzled out they I don't know if they've disbanded or not what I have found on them there's nothing saying that they've disbanded but uh, it's a shame because I did make some very good albums um, they made three and they're all very good um, if you like your power metal and your Scandinavian rock I'll check these out so then so as I said they've made three albums so let's have a look at them um, so coming in at number three we have the second album that was released in 2005 called Forever Endeavor on here we have got now I apologize for my very bad pronunciation of Norwegian names now I don't know if this is Knut, Newt, Nut because you spoke K N U T E Toftern on bass, Morton Fabervig on drums, Jack R. Olsen guitars and backing vocals, Lars Andre Larsen guitars and keyboards, and Jan Thor Gretstad on vocals and keyboards. And this was his last album before he left first track on here is called the spirit of salvation um, what a start that great drums rumbling in um, we've got some very nice melodic guitar on this the, the double guitars always sound great very melodic track and it's a great vocal uh, really strong vocal and it's a good track second track is called break the silence it's typical Scandinavian rock metal whatever you want to call it you know when you hear that first note you know that they are from the from Scandinavia it's got written all over it it's a great song the edge of time oh this has got some lovely guitar work in this um, from both Jack Olsen and Lars Larsen um, two really good guitar players um, play off each other very well on this the two guitars are talking to each other it's really really good um, Mind Game Masquerade now this reminds me of Thin Lizzy there's nothing wrong with that that double guitar but it's a little bit faster than what Scott Gorham and whoever was in the band with him play at but what adds to this is that double bass drum really you can feel it in the gut of your belly it's excellent track the Sacrifice. Now this is a um, power ballad. Love that piano at the beginning. Them driving hard riffs. And I think Scandinavian power ballads are a lot better than some of the stuff that the American bands 
and even the British bands do. I don't know what they've. There's something in the water up in that part of the world, but they sound better, and they, they really put a lot of drive into it. It's a great track. Then we get Surreality. Um, again, you've got a great bass line in this, and the guitars just weave around this bass line. It's just great heavy metal. And the title track, Forever Endeavour. The arrangements on this are just incredible. I just. The guitar and that keyboard, they sort of just. Inter, entwine each other. And it just makes a really, really. Good sound for this track. Great vocal from. Uh, from Jan Gretstad. Great stuff. Um, then we get Real Life. Starts very Celtic. You know that Celtic feel, you know the fields of Scotland and the mountains, and then we go into some Iron Maiden early Iron Maiden riffing, which is great. It's a really good track. Somewhere, uh, great vocal. This is the keyboards are great. It's a it's a bit of a love song sort of thing. But it's not a cheesy one. It's a very, very, very nice tune. Then we get my favourite um, track on this album. It's called Demon of Damnation. It's a bit of a mini epic. It's one of them proper progressive metal tracks. Lots of great riffs. Lots of little guitar licks. And shredding. Great vocals on here. Uh, got talking on it, but you know, effect talking. It's all dramatic and operatic. It's a great track. This is a good album. Uh, it's not got a bad track on it actually. Uh, it's very difficult to twi with, pick between these three albums because they're all strong albums. And I'll give this one an RTO ranking of seven point five. Okay, then coming in at number two. We have the debut album, released in 2003, From the Cradle to the Brave. On here we've got, again, Jan T. Gratstag on vocals, Jackar Olsen on the guitar, Lars Andre Larsen on guitar, Nutty Toffram on bass and Morton Ferovig on drums. First track is One Lance Chance. This is the first track, obviously, I ever heard by... Um, Highland Glory. Um, I love the start to this. That keyboard is great. And then you get the thumping guitars coming in, the drums, that bass, and then then the interplay between the keyboards and the guitars on this is superb. What an opening track to an album that I'd never heard of. Um, Beyond the Pharaoh's Curse. And one of these it's a mini epic. This is. It's got a great keyboard start. It's dramatic. Guitar riffs are coming in. Um, great vocal on this. Really strong vocal. And it's got more of a Celtic feel than with the title being a pharaoh. You expect something Egyptian, but it's more Celtic. But it's a really, really strong track. Um, a Warrior's Path. Nice melodies. Uh, great guitar. The twin guitar sound. Really enjoyed this track. Absolutely top draw stuff. Um, the Promise, I swear, great track. Now, you never get piano and bass working well together on this, and it is really nice. Uh, it's a slow, romantic song, but it's it's more class than less cheese. The words are nice. They're not slushy, but they're meaningful. It's a really good song. Let me get my favourite track on this album. It's one of these... Um, epics, it's called The Land of Forgotten Dreams it's split into two uh, but the first part is got some a thumping bass line and great double drums, some really nice interplay between the guitars and then in the second bit we go into this tempo that sort of builds up even more from the first part, the first part's reasonably 
fast, but then all of a sudden you go into something even faster. And you've got this orchestral keyboard, and the guitars are just flowing over this. Great interplay. It's a fantastic piece of music. Then we get Where You're Going to Neverland. This reminds me of um, Dream Theater. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, it's again, it's one of these little mini epics. It's about eight minutes. It's got all them elements that you expect with progressive metal. Uh, you know, it's very dream theatre, as I said. Uh, it's a great track. Um, and then we get We Will Be Again. Another slow track. Nice lyrics. It's a love story, not I love you and I'm going to be with you for the rest of the life, blah, blah, blah. It's a bit for me meaningful and I like it. Really nice strokes. The guitar work is fantastic on that track. Then we get the title track from Cradle to the Brave. It's a lovely Celtic start with flutes. You could be again in the hills of Scotland or Ireland and the green fields. And then all of a sudden you get this turns on its head from a gentle Celtic thing to a really hard rock metal track heavy riffs lots of shredding and drums and oh that just blows your head off um that was the last track on that one and uh again I, you know the first album I heard and it blew me away um really really good album um, must, you've got to check these albums out they are fantastic so I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 7.7 .7. so coming in at number 1 we have the third and at the moment the current who knows if we'll get another one came out in 2011 and it's called The Twist of Faith um, new singer on this um but you've still got Nutty E. Toffram, Morton Fervig, um, Jack Olsen, Lars Anderson. And the vocals are now done by a female vocalist called Trini Elise Johansson. And it was the only album because she made this album and left. <laughs> and then they went back to Jan again. And then, of course, he left because he was getting bored. Um, so first track on here is called Hollow Course to Ride. Great driving riffs. And this um, young lady, Trini, sounded brilliant. Great vocal. Then we have Limitation of Life in brackets, Dark Side of the Mind. Ripping track. Really good guitar licks in this. And another fine um, vocal. Temptation Highland, S nice and slow. The guitar sounds really good on this. Very, very good track. Without You, another slow ballad sort of thing. Uh, Trini's voice is great. It really suits her vocals, suit the style of this band. It's a shame she's only made this one album. Very, very good track. Lots of power chords. Just what you like. Um, Twist of Faith is the next track. Uh, Garden of Heathen. The keyboard just adds to this. It's the guitars. It's got a lot of textures and layers. Another great vocal. Really enjoy that one. Far Cry from Freedom. It starts off with this acoustic sound. Then the electric guitars come in on top of it. Um, it's a stonking rock track and it just gets better and better as the track progresses. They add extra layers and it builds to this really good crescendo. Then Earthbound Spirit. This is my favourite track by the band Full Stop. Um, it's got a bluesy rock feel to it. Um, and then you get the combination of the metal riffs. It's great. It, it, the keyboards on this are just amazing. And... This is Trinine's best vocal that she did with the band. It is fantastic. Diary of the Dying. Belter. Absolute belter of a track. 
Um, again, it's got all them great elements of progressive metal, stunning keyboard pieces, great guitar riffs and shredding, and a good strong vocal. Blood of Innocent, again, it's got the modern day start for the Iron Maiden song with the bass line, but it's not as long as Steve Harris's bass intros. It's short, it's sharp, but it delivers, and uh, it's a very good track, and I love that track as much as Earthbound Spirit. Then we get a cover of a heart song alone. Um, it's not a bad version. But she's no Anne Wilson. I don't think she's got the same power as Anne. That's not a bad way to win the album. Okay, big gamble this was. Replacing a metal band, replacing a male singer with a female singer. Very bold move, I thought. Um, but I think it paid off because this is a great album. As much as I like Jan's um, vocal he's a great singer I think that Trini was really added more depth to this band and it, it, this album is great OK The Heart cover is probably the weaker track but if you're going to try and cover Heart songs you, you're either going to get it right or you're going to get it wrong she got it half right but I don't think she hasn't got the power of Sam Wilson but it, didn't spoil, it doesn't spoil that album it's so shame that she didn't stay and they made another album. Um, but it's a great album and I'll listen, I have listened to it quite a lot. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 8 out of 10. Okay, um, another band to go and check out. Um, as I said, if you like your Scandinavian rock music, you're going to like these. Um... I'll be back later uh, with a retro ranking and it's one another one of them specials um, continue on from Wings last week there were so many songs that didn't appear on their albums but come out as singles and b-sides and I don't want to leave them out because they're they are great songs so we'll be looking at them later so see you for that take care for now